hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple but cool looking logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple cool tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any much more time let's get started Started. So here we are in Adobe After Effect. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to call it as Main Animation as always we do. Width I'm going to choose 1920 and height 1080. Frame rate is 30. Duration I'm going to choose 30 seconds only. Sorry. Okay. And background color I'm going to choose black color and simply hit OK and hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection like this then uh, i'm going to press ctrl uh, y to create one solid background and we are going to choose black color for it hit ok and hit ok and let's lock this like this now i'm going to select my ellipse tool and let's uh, delete the stroke and i want to choose white color for this fill and simply hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse now select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option initially let's make the scale zero and create one keyframe zoom in a little bit let's go to around 1.20 frame and we will increase the size up to so uh, it will cover the entire comp now select this and hit ctrl d again and press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this now we will delete the fill i don't need that fill but for the stroke i am going to choose white color and not white but black color and simply hit ok and stroke width let's choose two pixels like this or let's say one pixels okay like this now select this and go inside this contents ellipse and stroke and in stroke we am going to choose this dashes so i'm gonna get something like this okay so let's minimize it and let's see I'm gonna get this kind of stuff now hit U again now I'm going to select this ellipse and I'll hit ctrl D hit U over here and uh, I'll press uh, scale S for scaling and let's decrease the scale somewhere around like this over here now go to the start select this press P for position create one keyframe hit U go over here and move this from here to here like this okay like this go to the start uh, so if i see this i'm gonna get something like this now select this hit ctrl d hit u go over here press v and move this from here to here okay so if i see this now i'm gonna get something like this and for this two i'm going to stroke with six pixels like this okay now select this two and hit ctrl d again and let's bring them at the top over here like this and this time i'm going to delete the stroke i don't need the stroke and for the fill i'm going to choose black color okay then press s and let's decrease the scale over here select this one move this over here select this one move this over here like this okay let's try to adjust the position properly now again select this two hit ctrl d and let's try to bring them at the top and hit u and let's decrease the scale to 10 okay now this time select this and move this over here select this and let's move this over here like this okay now select this stroke over here not this but but this one hit ctrl d select this last one press s and let's try to increase the scale up to this okay so now if we see this animation we are gonna get something like this okay like this now hit u and we will so we can see all the keyframes select all the keyframes and hit f9 then go to the graph editor select this graph 
by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle sorry select this and move one handle over here so if we see this animation now we are gonna get something like this now this animation should be one by one so i'm going to take a distance of five five frames uh, and i'll adjust it like this with the help of open square bracket like this so if i see this animation now i'm gonna get something like this okay now i'm going to select one ellipse and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this now go to the start press p for position create one keyframe go to around two second create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this out of this composition somewhere around like this select this hit ctrl d press p and let's bring this out of this composition somewhere around like this okay so we are getting something like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here zoom in select this and move this handle over here like this so if you see we will get something like this but it looks uh, quite weird so i'm going to select this and let's move this up to one second and this animation should start somewhere around at this point like this okay and then whenever it's going to touch i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d i'll hit u and i'm going to delete this keyframes and with the help of open square bracket move this over here press s for scaling option create one keyframe at the start zoom in and let's increase the size of it somewhere around like this okay then select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so i'm gonna get this kind of stuff so if we see first we will get this and then this now for this uh, ellipse uh, i want some opacity animation as well so press t for opacity create one keyframe and let's make this opacity set zero uh, hit page down button two times and let's make this 100 hit page down button two times and let's make this opacity zero now select those keyframe hit f9 alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over there copy this expression or you can select those keyframe and hit ctrl c go over over here select this and hit ctrl v so i'm gonna get this kind of stuff same expression you can uh, apply to the strokes as well so you can select this and you can go somewhere around over here and hit ctrl v so you will get that animation over here as well you can select these two as well and you can apply that animation over them as well okay so if we see we are gonna get something like this now after that hit u then right click new and create one null object okay and select this and hit enter and let's call it as rotation okay now except for this and this i'm um, and this uh, first three layers all of them should be parent with this null object so select this and bring this after this first three layers which is this one this one and this one and except the last layer which is our main background select all of these layers and make it a parent with this rotation now go to the start press r for rotation create one keyframe go somewhere around over here and let's make this 90 so if we see we will get something like this and let's increase this uh, rotation somewhere around over here so we'll get something like this okay if you want then you can increase it up to 10 seconds as well like this okay now when this thing is going to appear I want some extra stuff over there as well so for that what I can do I can select this ellipse I can select the black color 
uh, let's by holding shift create one ellipse over there select this go to the ellipse go to the ellipse path and let's make this size 5 and let's disable this titles f action just for now i'm going to select this ellipse in out this contains go to the add choose repeater go to the repeater go to the transform repeater let's decrease the repeater size from here let's increase the number of copies then select this repeater hit ctrl d go over here transform repeater let's make this position zero from here and increase the position from here and let's decrease the number of copies over there okay then select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and move this uh, sorry press p for position let's bring this down from here to here to here okay then select both the layers press p for position create one keyframe go somewhere around uh, somewhere at this point let's select this move this from here to here select this and move this from here to here now select those keyframe and move them somewhere up to five seconds so if you see along with this i'm gonna get this animation now select this two let's press s and let's increase the size and uh, let's change the position somewhere around over here like this and press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 20 like this okay now so i'm going to select all of this stuff and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation okay so this is all the animation stuff and now i'm going to bring my png logo you can choose whatever logo you want over here like this go to the effect and presets panel and search for find edge effect and you can double click to apply and if you invert this as you guys can see we are getting weird stuff so what i can do let's apply fill color over here to this logo and choose white color and let's try to apply find edge effect now as you guys can see i'm gonna get this kind of stuff and if i choose invert i'll get weird stuff so i'm going to choose this stuff over here so let's do that and press s for scaling option go to the align tab align it horizontally properly and choose screen mode or let's choose multiply like this okay so we are going to choose multiply mode like that okay and press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity somewhere around let's say 30 maybe and you can increase the size a little bit over here press t let's make this 25 okay so we'll get something like this and select this press p for position initially it should be over here create one keyframe go few frame forward and move this from here to here okay and move this keyframe over here so what will happen along with that we will get a small amount of animation as well now we will hit ctrl 0 and we will bring our png logo over here again and we will apply fill effect over here and i'm going to choose white color select this press s and let's decrease the size of it now at this point somewhere around this i'm going to select this move this over here press p for position create one keyframe press t for opacity create another keyframe hit you go few frame forward create another keyframe go to the start move this upward and let's make this value zero select those keyframe hit f9 uh, go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so we are gonna get this kind of reveal so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now i'm going to select this animation portion and i'll hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top over here and right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project select this animation and hit ctrl d and by holding alt i'm going to replace it over here okay then double click to open this and we are going to delete this portion uh, which is this one we will hit delete similarly these two portions i'm going to delete i don't want them okay over here i'm going to choose uh, over here uh, tint effect let's double click to apply and swap this color okay and bring this over here 
and let's minimize it okay so somewhere around at this okay so initially i'll get this animation then i'm going to bring this stuff over here and let's enable this over here like this okay so let's bring this over here like this and press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity so now if you see this animation along with this i'm gonna get this kind of animation now uh, right click new and create one null object select all of these layers make it apparent with this null select this null go to the start press s let's make this 110 create one keyframe okay and as the animation goes somewhere around five to six seconds let's make this 100 or let's make this 90 or something or let's make this 100 